came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 234715 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Leo always tells, tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 2344-59. You did that. No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station too. All right. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> after all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? May as well kill them all. This won't take long. <laughs> Antimatter Legion become so weak. I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? This lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. That breathing sensation, remember it. Good times never last. Time to say bye. other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? 
some random coordinates, not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours is usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. The central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. That breathing sensation. Remember it. That needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. Just like that. <laughs> you took the bait just like that. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> At this speed, too slow. Not a single 
single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into Herta. It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. Can't see. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a. I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. <sighs> Make your way over here, then. There's no point in trying to search like that. So, got a master plan? It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Hmm, huh. what's this? Item number 211, line spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the ob- So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but- Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. You want to give her a new name? Hmm. Standing around, having second thoughts. Yeah, we've always been the ones taking Stellarons. It's the first time we're giving one out. You're gonna think for this long? <laughs> Didn't make up your mind when you got out of bed this morning? Don't hurry me, Silverwolf. This is a big decision. I'll pick for you. This one. Yeah. This one. Uh, Silverwolf, did you forget that I must be the one to make this decision? There we go. How much does she remember? Hm, I'll remember you. Time to get up. you'd remember me. Maybe you're not as important as you think. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually, we will make a gorgeous pattern. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. What, the coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you?
heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Isn't good. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. 
This space station was just attacked by the antimatter legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Uh-huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madam Herta appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Don Hong and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happened to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <coughs> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. Yeah, you've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. You and March go back together. Arlan from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. You stay safe. Hmm. Maybe you should bring this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. is full of fancy little gadgets. Herta's collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. Let's make it quick. Take this! Just a scratch. You have the worst luck 
running into me. Let's go. My turn. Watch this. Batter up. You're stronger than you. Look, you seem to be quite the fighter. We'll take that elevator on the central plat- Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Memory loss, huh? You must have been injured. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. <laughs> With me out here, how can we lose? Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. You have the... Knew it. But it wasn't me. The Antimatter Legion must have broken it. Ah, too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him. Will he know what to do about this elevator? 
I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Then let's go talk to him. March, stay with the group. Don't rush off. Clemency? Never heard of it. What's this? Let's make it quick. Take this! are made to be broken. Decisive strike! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. done it without me. <sighs> hey, you're all together? Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh, did Madame Herta send you to help? Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I have no idea. Lady. Lead researcher Asta immediately. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now, our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the leech. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must Oh, right. She did get... Mm. But where did I... You... Ah, uh, here it is. Uh... <sighs> now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. Because I mustn't give the Legion any chance to reach the master control zone by the elevator. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Uh-huh. You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you- You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone. Agreed. She and I made it here safely. And now we've also got Don Hung. We let us worry about the Antimatter Legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Aren't you a nice kid? Thank you.
It's too late to repent. You have the worst luck. Let's go. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. My turn. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes, to stall the enemy, more or less. Clemency? Never heard of it. I told you I could fight. Watch this! Let's make it quick. Take this! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking combat. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Uh, hey, these shiny things, are these light cones? No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I... Good. Aw, is that it? We've reached the elevator already? That wasn't too many monsters.
Let's make it quick. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death reveals the sanctuary. It's but a vision. Break! Told you I could fight. Let's go. Yeah. Why does it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, at least you're back. March, Dunhong, you've been through a lot. Oh, phew. Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. <sighs> Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm... In other words, she's in charge of where the express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. Huh. Looks like we have two Don Hungs on our team now. <sighs> Please leave me out of this. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on. Asta's been worried about all of you. Projectile radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over ten waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. In times of disaster... I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we... But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be... What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was... The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Let's go speak with the researchers. 
Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herda? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herda and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least- Oh, that would be of great help. I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. I caught the antimatter legion sooner. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family. She was kind to me, though. I don't know much about science, but... Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. I hope all this chaos...
Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh. Thanks, kid. We're doing... But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer. Then the... It's quite a bit to remember. Are you ready? Three... Oh, wrong order, kid. Push the control stick up to activate the spectrometer. Then right for the attenuator, and finally down for the filter. Are you ready? Wrong order, kid. Push the control... Are you ready? Wonderful. <laughs> Abraham was close to him. The top priority is to preserve the space station and cost... I need to leave. I need to run. No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday. I can run from today. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857. I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life. Everyone keeps saying that! Things will get better, things will- Negative, positive, a negative of a negative is a positive! Life inevitably comes to an end today. How insightful! I will pull myself together. Express and leave. I'll stay. But let's go. My dumpster and shield won't hold much longer. You all need to aisle me here. You, you, her. We are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you that's the doomsday beast, the Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. But we can't just run away like this, right? <sighs> the Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. That's why we have to leave and take her with us. Hmm? She's that important? She's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. Hmm. As you say so. All right. This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station. Mm hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear.
Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Fight. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. You won't get away. <sighs> I have something for you. <sighs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Uh, the exit's over there. How do we get to it? Use the control device to switch the repulsion bridge. You won't get away. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. for you. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Is that all? Get away.
Looks good. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. My turn! The truth of life and death reveals the sanctuary is but a vision! But... Make it quick. Yeah. Ha! Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> the truth of life and death revealed in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. This can't My turn. for you. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Move carefully. Let's make it quick. Let's go. You won't. 
for you. Tough luck running into me! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's go! I have something for you. Let's make it quick. Yeah! Time for it. Could fight. <laughs> Let's go. You won't get away. You can't run. I have something for you. Fighting is meaningless. Get away. I have no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Told you I could fight. I have something for you. Rules are made to be broken. Fighting is meaningless. My turn. Let's make it quick. Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. You won't get away. I have something for you. You still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception.
Express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Wait, march! Huh? Huh? The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Carefully. Don't hesitate. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Let's make it quick. You won't get away. Don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. I have something for you. No interesting conflict. You won't get away. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! My turn. Let's go. I'll try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's make it quick. You won't get away. Rules are made to be broken. Time for an overhaul.
is that? They're okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. Is this the space station? Hi. It's good that you've made it through in one piece. You can rest easy now that... Well, this invasion seems to be nothing. I guess I'll leave you to rest up a bit. Go see Himiko when you have the time. Choice isn't as elusive as it may appear. You're awake. I had Marge and it's almost time. She should be arriving. I've only been gone, what, a few months? 
And the space station is already in. Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want? What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. I'm using her to talk to you. So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing. I built a whole space station just to contain the fifth someone was able to achieve that with... Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in her body. <gasps> You're right! But this little one's body truly is strange. You can leave. I'm discussing science with... What, what's her face? Himako? Science exists, but as far as you're concerned, I think it would be better for you to listen in. After all, I have a lot of... Can I bring her in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask her yourself. Little twerp's pretty financially motivated. Oh, I like it. All right, give the poor child a break, Herda. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Express has its fair share of experience. We can come back any time to let... Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep... Yes, give it some good thought. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you come find me when you've made your decision.
We mustn't cling to the past. Noise. It moved. What you're seeing is one of my remote controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit chat. I am working on a eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons use how were they created? Why were they created? What? 42 what? Uh, are you even listening to me? We want to solve the mystery behind the E. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and I call it the metaverse. Oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. Yes, just stand there and the computer will...
day to repent. to be broken. Too late to repent. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break. to repent.
fresh now or fresh later? Move carefully. Broken. news to Steven right away. Don't just... <laughs> I've upgraded the simulated universe! It now has more memory and can support longer sessions. The last round must have been pretty boring. I'll get Steven to add a few more interesting things. <laughs> this part was made specifically with you in mind. Ready to have some fun? Steven said the same thing. I don't really get fun, but whatever. What's more important is that the rewards will also increase. In a nutshell, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated universe. I'll help you out some more. Don't worry.
It's getting late. Where to now?
getting late. Where to now?
Looks good. Divine inspiration? It's only several thousand ideas racing through my mind every minute. you <laughs> pretty good crowd today Answers? Let's make it quick. Reach the end of the story in your own way.
Asking questions. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. We need a strategy.
We need a strategy.
We need a strategy. Good crowd today. Turn it up. Your answers. Let's make it quick. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. We need a strategy. strategy.
I'm asking questions. Test. Let's make it quick. Yeah. No manners, huh? <laughs> this song's for you. <laughs> Ordained by the stars. Oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> Ready to lose your skin? You can fight it. Or rock with it. I'm asking question. Test. <laughs> SAS knowledge. The measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> We need a strategy. Is that all?
Reach the end of the story in your own way. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> this is our chance. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. for you. Ordained by those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Who will it be? Turn it up. Act, Prince. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Answer me. SAS. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. This is our chance. Huh. Zero points. Rules are made to be broken. Reach the end of the story in your own way. you <laughs> Keep up. your answers
questions. Answer me. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Scared yet? Ready to lose your you can fight it. Or rock with it. Huh? This song let's rock. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Keep at it. It's getting late. Where to now? Or at staff discount prices.
Time to get vigilant. <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. More the better. It's getting late. Where to now? All are at staff discount price. Too late to repent. Told you. Let's make it quick.
have no interest in the hearts watch this awesome move. The truth of life and death revealed in an insane sanctuary is but a vision. Told you I could fight. Made to be broken. Fighting is meaningless. My turn. Time to twirl. I've no interest in conflict. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! The truth of life and death, revealed in an in the sanctuary, is but a vision! Break. to repent.
Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. My turn. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Huh. What are you looking at? <laughs> Fight. Tough luck. <laughs> to be broken. Time to Too late to repent. Huh. Crash now or crash later? Care for the truth of life and death. But the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! So, have you thought things... 
Then come with me. The way <laughs> to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be waiting. <gasps> Time to get on. Till we make it. Oh. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Fighting is meaningless. Commencing support. Let's make it quick. Enemy targets detected. <laughs> No interest in conflict. Let's go. Commencing support. <gasps> Enemy data secured. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Data secure. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Fighting is meaningless. Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Truth of life and death, revealed in an the sanctuary, is but a vision. Told you I could fight. Let's go. Go away. Curious. 
have no interest in conflict. Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Rules are made to be broken. Fighting is meaningless. Let's go. No interest in conflict. Your number is up. Got. Let me pay you back tenfold. Too late to repent. The truth of life and death. With the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Leave it to me. <laughs> Commencing support. Ready for another? Let's begin. Time to twirl! Enemy targets to... <laughs> Data secure net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Time for some hardship. No. Time to twirl. <gasps> Time to twirl. Hey. Stay. 
champion. You know nothing of the weight behind the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Ready for another? to repent. your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Too late to repent the truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! So you are afraid of me. To travel far away. Fighting is meaningless. Commencing research. Too late to repent. Don't mess with me. of me. Who's next? What a headache. Commencing research. So you are afraid of me. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! I'll free you from your... Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. So you are afraid of me. Who's next?
I have something for you. something for you. Lend me your strength. Don't mess with me. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Commencing support. <gasps> Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Commencing support. Data secure net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Careless. That's better. You're a good person. <laughs> Here. Let's go.
Carefully. to repent the truth of life and death revealed in the sanctuary is but a vision Kimiko likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back.
Here already? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I? Oh? Ah, Pom Pom remembers Kimiko saying that you saved her. Hmm, very brave. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's a. Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the Ark? Uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Noise. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Can I help you? Feel free. This, while many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I entered the collected data into the Archives databank. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used...
door is unlocked. Just one look. Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention all passengers. Attention all passengers. The Express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I repeat, the Express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall.
Took long enough, but at least everyone's here now. He won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh, yeah, take these. Tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Okay, everyone, hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March, always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump.
Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Destiny memories are ever changed. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Uh. What do you want to know? Uh. <laughs> what are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra! Naughty child. <laughs> just in just a little something. <laughs> Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Nap time. We're just having fun. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> for a shot. <laughs> I forget your wallet? Don't think about running. What a huge cloud song. We're in trouble now. <laughs> I sent a storm. Just a little something. <laughs> Better late than never. Heaven sent you on a break. Sacred of a Sent a storm. A thousand one. The big fight is gone! Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs>
smell of sin. I shall be the judge. Commencing support. <gasps> By the will of the ten, the ten lords decree, hereby ordain. Enemy data secure. Net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Net marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Decree hereby ordained. <gasps> Enemy data secure. Net marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Hope I don't mess up. It's time. Huh. <laughs> Let's make it quick. thousand one. <laughs> Fight is good. Rules 
are made to be broken. Seize the moment. <laughs> A thousand wonders to rain and fight is gone. Yeah. The universe. The Astral Express. Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing. In my Are you kidding us, the stars? <laughs> <sighs> I've done stuff like that before. But... It wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko, and Mr. Yang, and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A <laughs> way to get everyone down, huh? It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh... <laughs> Cheer up! Ah, here comes the conductor! The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about... ten minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But... Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Yorilo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. 
seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Don't worry, it's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Uriel 06 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Right! You finally get what we're all about! Pretty cool, huh? I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Hey, that's not the spirit! <sighs> so it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to march. If you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Eurelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the... He said so? Hmm. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temp- If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I- And even after you arrived, I didn't- I assume the trailblazing objective this time is- I see. You should find March. Did you talk to Don Hung? <sighs> That's our Don Hung. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average plan. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks what? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just a 
imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <sighs> I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right, here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. Urelo 6, we're here. <sighs> it really is one big snowball. Well, the Trailblaze path grants us fa <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can- Based on the coordinates. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Me neither. If Do you remember what you did to our last snowmobile? <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Remember, we should stay vigilant. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing- I mean, come on! You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers, and Don Hung. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go. Braving the un.
This place still hasn't been corroded. Yet fragmentum monsters have already made it here. I fear the Stellaron may... Reach the end of the story in your own way.
worry. If anything happens, I'll just put you back together. A test. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Made to be broken. <laughs> huh? Did you see that? I think something's moving. Hmm. It's just an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? <laughs> hey, get out of there, or you'll 
shiver to death. Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow, in this case. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? He's crawling around in the snow a crime these days. I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jafar... Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent, I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. If anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and... Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. There are ways of doing things in this profession and you bet- No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. I was showing you the- But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Koski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and- uh, Keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Eh, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, <laughs> there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything, I just care about my friends. No pressure. Number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no time. 
Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them! Help me, old friends! I don't want to be caught! It's the suspect and his accomplices! Arrest them! It's now or never! Over to you, dear friends! Hey, where do you get your... Answer me! of truth and falsehood. You can fight it or rock with it. Silvermane guards order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Uh, forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move.
should never team up with someone like I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see we rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts? We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architect, not now. Take them away. But we're not from Bellabog! Silence! What kind of nonsense- As you were. We must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their attire. Indeed, it is not in the Bellabog style. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6! You mean to say that this white ball that's here, <laughs> that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards... But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Kripoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird stuff. A marked change in tone. It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. Uh <laughs>
flores. We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmento, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bel... Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and the current guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every- Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first?
Let's not waste time. No one will notice. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madam. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes, Mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kokolia Rand, Belabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come.
Uh, do you think- We came here for something- A Stellaron. Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. You mentioned invasion by the antimatter region. Soon after their arrival, this- Correct. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, if you can see us as... kind-hearted and... <clears throat> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disaster. Even if this Stellaron you... You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. You... We have the relevant means. Very well. I believe you. If our presence... It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange... It should be me. I too need some time. I will go... Understand. Do not worry. I have a way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. She's the big shot! Definitely got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on! <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I'm uh, wait! Can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head... To oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. 
The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. So the corrosion is inside the... Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. It's made of. It can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Never winter workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally, you'd want a heater inside a building, right?
if so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for- Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh, wow, she's cool! Hi there. The name's Sir. If you got any broken equipment lying around. Oh, uh, we're okay. I'm curious about the heater. It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere. Only just got here? Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loud mouth. What an honor. Where am I? The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable... Isn't it just like cooking... F when she puts it like that... <laughs> no sweat. This is... Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, wanna help? Great. Then let me give you this.
Nice. You guys are pretty handy. <laughs> Do you just say... <laughs> well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better... So this friend of
body that Japard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning! But... but my proof of property is inside! I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. Please, try to understand, sir. If I can't get my proof of property... <sighs> Trailblazing expedition. Wow, what a beautiful lobby. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> March. Earlier in Clip Hop. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's not what I was going to say. All right, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade.
Nope. She seemed normal to me. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm. I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. He'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. That's your eighth dish. Is there anything left to do? It was a long day today. Well, don't talk about it. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. Well, I'm off to my room.
Hey, did you hear that? There's a group of Silvermane guards at the entrance. Uh, this is our escort. It's like... I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tr Are we in a... Huh? It's you. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord, as agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. <sighs> this is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Dunham, the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. Three of a kind. Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! Charged straight in! Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. Y yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabox security. What I must do. Ha! See? They weren't brave enough to follow us. Freedom! Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. Getting lucky. We caught them by surprise. Hmm. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Ugh, the cheek! That woman had a troubling aura. Our instincts were correct. Found your weakness! Those stars! 
Give these trailblazers your blessing. Keep up. You can fight it or rock with it. The stars will always remember us. Rest assured, dear. I'll do all that I can to... For the fear of the mediocre. For the fear of the mediocre. Who am I looking? Just as my calculations predicted. Thank you. 
as my calculations predicted. Guards here. They must have entered from another direction to cut us. We should avoid an open conflict. Wait. They, they must have entered from another. We should avoid an open. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any way to open this. Yes. We need to solve it before we run out of. will always remember us. Oh. Wait, there are silver me. We should avoid it. Don't see a switch for the gate. Uh, over there. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. For the theater of the mediocre. Who will it be? Turn it up. You can fight it or rock with it. Just as my calculations predicted.
English. <sighs> you dare underestimate me. <laughs> Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Velabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Ah, oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have a- The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender! We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine! <laughs> oh, Star, give these trailblazers your blessing! Keep up! Answer me! Freedom! Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Get quick. Yeah. Stop. That's it. Stop right there. You don't take more than that. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Rules are made to be broken. Who invited you? Pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung, maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? <sighs> you first. Uh, you're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Say, Sampho never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me as a tyrant. You will witness a terrible misunderstanding. We will honor your decisions. 
I understand. <sighs> Come on, those toys of- Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the overworld, girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it. I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back? How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does Wildfire get off? Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over 10 years now. What would Wildfire do with her? All right, I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. are you feeling can you i hope you're joking <laughs> that's either an interesting metaphor well now that you're awake you should probably try moving your limb i'm natasha a doctor in the underground you are nice to meet you too <laughs> you're very polite sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making so i'm looking after you in the meantime Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So, if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. Sure, but... Don't push yourself. And if you run into any trouble, you can try asking for Wildfire. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silver Main God. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. But where should I start?
Looks good. So, you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll be up all the ins and outs? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. <laughs> Cookie's in an overgrounder, you know. Who can never tell to do? Yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You! Uh, when did you get here? Uh, quit acting like a child. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide and seek. Do you get it? Uh, so what if I am? Why don't you help me, huh? Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious! Yeah, precious! Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. She also wants to join the moles. Can she play too? Um, sure. I guess so. Then, you guys are seeking! <sighs> Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Hmm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. to the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? Do your worst. I'm not afraid. What are they feeding you kids down here?
Fucking off. Hmm, something's not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek my name. My instincts are telling me. <laughs> Nonsense! <clears throat> uh, how many eight year olds do you see walk? All right, the jig is up. <laughs> but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. <sighs> Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. Whoa. No need for the melodrama. That was. I... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. Somewhere. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. Oh, so the blue haired guy take your dark haired friend to the f fight club. You don't talk about it. Is this more. Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the fight club? Hmm. But it's an obvious bill. Come with Hook. I'll take. Thanks. Oh, that's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could. A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Mm -hmm. In fact, it's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? Loads of kids take part. Ah, despicable. My criminal activity senses are tingling. charge here how can they just let kids attack each other the moles are in charge that's who uh, but only the kids wildfires um the moles control everything Ooh, they need one more player there i, I gotta go if you ever want to fight come find me
for today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength! And so, let the semi Quick, let's help him! Oh, brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon! It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you! And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked! You're welcome! Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion! The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable! But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only! Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home! And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead! He's just itching to get into it! And so are we! It's the Iron Fist of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic! I can take them on my own, you know. Well, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Nicknames is different. Hey, look, it's Sampo. Let's get after him. I can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. It's you! I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So... Save it. You saw us in there and got scared. So you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, to...
My fine fellow, please don't do that again. You scared the daylights out of me. Wait a minute, we're not done here. You dragged us. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. Hmm. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret? <laughs> Don Hung, what? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our... F you win! I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Have a little faith. It's like I said. So, what does Wildfire do all day? Buy everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources. Huh. Where's Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. At least in theory. Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. Old Oleg isn't here either? Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on an- I wouldn't dare! Trust me! <sighs> huh? Oh, that's the Furnish Core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then- Then what? It's a long story. In any case, practically nothing moves up or down it except you- Oh, come on! <laughs> My dear fellow, I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. Zila's usually always out on patrol here at this time. What's... Hey, look! Who is that? It looks like she's in trouble. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> We should avoid attracting too much attention. We can't... Uh, I was kidding. And get your own opinion. But I agree with Don Hung. We can't just leave her to the bullies. Well said. 
The young lady is wise and righteous. Let's help her. All right, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasantries. <sighs> Attack someone on our turf? Well, how about a few rounds of me? Darn it! Quick, disperse! Spineless thugs! Miss Zila, phew. It's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. Ugh, shut it, Sampo! This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless is. I hear a Silvermane guard is paying the underworld a visit. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the Underworlders? The Silvermane Guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architects, more like it. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Hila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? Fully booked. Who are they? What good is your name by itself? Well, it's like this. The Chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. We're looking for a Stellaron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... <laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway, so let's save it for the Chief, huh? You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The Chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving.
I'm not done yet. The more I learn about it, the more I love the starry sky. The faster the progress, the greater the chance of... Nice! I should write this into my next song. You call that a build update? What? <sighs> Just as a data bank requires updating, so I must keep evolving.
there's still room for improvement. One day, I'll grow up and protect everyone. I understand. Understand. Just like being on stage, right, Pela? I'll follow your rhythm. Can ordinary men still manage to believe in themselves under the scorn of a genius?
Sasha.